Epic Toy Adventures here again with, yet again, my second review today. So yes, another figure review. And today we're taking a look at a newly released line. This is my only figure I have for this line because I wasn't really interested in the other one. The Jurassic World Amber Collection Velociraptor, AKA the big one. So this is supposed to be the Velociraptor from the first Jurassic Park. Um, this is Mattel's new six inch line. They're kind of version of their, what would be Marvel Legends or Star Wars, the Black Series, all those other uh, six inch figure lines. Mattel's finally thrown their hat into the bin. They've made Ian Malcolm and this one that have been released so far, but they also have Blue, Blue Sisters, Owen Grady, and a few others, I don't believe. I don't know how big this line's gonna be or how many figures are going to enter it. But so far, from what I've seen, it looks really good. So I'm super excited to take a look at this. And even if I don't collect cinch in scale, I got this because this can just be used as a in scale with the Mattel uh, regular scale Utah Raptor because they haven't made a Utah Raptor yet. I don't know why, but this could serve as a good uh, stand in until they do. So, taking a look at the box, this box is much more fancy than your typical uh, Mattel Jurassic box. You can you know, it has all these nice like. I, when I first saw this nice little contour right here, as you can see, it goes to the side a bit. It kind of inclines in or declines in right here. I thought this was a damaged box that I saw in someone's post, but now this is how it's supposed to be. So that kind of got me. You have this nice amber color background to the rest of the box. And a uh, really nice little uh, window showing you the Raptor, a nice closed box. That I'm assuming you can package again after you've opened it, like most uh, six inch collecting series to have that. On the side right here, you have a nice embossed uh, image of what I believe is an Allosaurus skull and a claw. You know, just a lot of really nice design going on here. It says Amber Collection. And I believe they're kind of embossed letters. I don't think so, no. Taking it around the back. So it's Amber Collection, Velociraptor, Jurassic Park. Highly intelligent and aggressive, the Velociraptor is known to hunt in packs with the innate ability to distract and deceive her prey. This cunning predator proves to be one clever girl. And then you have a nice uh, product, uh, I mean, an uh, image from the movie. It says JurassicWorld.com down here. Take a look at the side. These are the Jurassic Park logo, not world, park. Ding. That's making me happy. So, this is a really nice pretty box. It has plus 14 at the bottom, so this is not really a toy. It's more of a collector's item, which I'm always happy for, for a cheap, well, not cheap, but affordable collector Jurassic uh, Park items. You know, usually we have the iron and the, uh, I can't remember the name of the studio, but you know, those big, tall, I think they're Rebor. Tall statues with Alan Grant and the breaking out scene from the first movie from when the T-Rex broke out of the enclosure. Yeah, those crazy, you know, money ditches that you're just going to dump money into to get a statue that's going to sit there and do nothing your whole life. Waste of money, in my opinion. These are much better because you can actually pose these and take pictures with them. And, you know, there's a little more interactivity with a poseable dinosaur as opposed to a statue that looks cool. Yeah, I've never been in mention of statues. Anyway, I can't wait to get take a look at this. Let's go ahead and get her out of the packaging. And here she is out of the packaging. And yes, she does come with a nice little stand. Now, I've read a lot of comments about this stand. If you guys have been in the group, you know what I'm talking about. People have compared this stand to looking like the raptor is urinating. Yeah, they say it looks like a big pee stain. It's supposed to be amber. But it looks like a pee stain. Yeah, you guys. Get your mind out of the gutter. But it actually doesn't need that. Interesting thing is, the Rapster, while kind of difficult, can stand on its own. Which I love. Because I was so afraid that you couldn't take uh, pictures with it without the stand. Because it wouldn't stand right. Or it would be a total uh, nightmare to stand. But it actually stands pretty well. As you guys can see right here. No issues. And wobble it a bit and it'll stand just fine. I got it in a pretty crazy pose. So yeah, uh, just taking just initial feelings of this figure. I'm absolutely in love with this. I love this, but I've, that's what I've read all the time. People are really impressed with this. This is a total win. 
and you can just tell there's so much articulation going on with this figure. It almost feels like a NECA or a Monster Arts for like, you know, Godzilla, because I also do a lot of Godzilla collecting. And uh, yeah, I'm just super happy to finally have a articulated, highly detailed line for Jurassic Park. I've always wanted that. I've always wanted like a, a Monster Arts line for Jurassic Park or a NECA line, but it just never came to fruition. Finally, we have something similar in the form of the Amber Collection. So I really hope they do pursue and make more dinosaurs like Dilophosaurus or uh, who knows, maybe a T-Rex. I don't know. I would, and I would pay, be a lot of money, but I, I'd pay for it. Probably like a $100 figure, but you know, you got my money already. of the detail going on across this figure. Now my lights aren't the best at the moment, so I'll try and position them to where they'll be the most effective. So just taking a look along the skin, you have all of this textured skin pattern and the skin is made of this rubbery plastic. It's not too firm and the tail is a bendy wire. I've wanted that for so long for them to make something a bendy wire because it's just so much better than articulation points because it looks so much more natural. Going down to the feet, so much paint detail. You know, we're really not used to seeing this on the regular Mattel line, so this is kind of jarring to see. Mattel actually put all of this detail into here. Going down the face, mine has a tiny little issue with the eye misprint, tiny, tiny, super not. Uh, big deal. Yeah, I know I talk weird. <laughs> Going down to the leg. So much more. You got this little... I think this should have been on the inside of the leg now that I notice it. It says TM and... Uh, I think that's copyright U and Uni and Amblin. Yeah, that was kind of a goof. Probably should have put that on the inside of the thigh. Maybe mine's just... Made on? I don't know. I don't think so. Kind of weird that they put on the outside but you can't really see it that well from afar. It really blends in well. And then taking a look at the other side of her. And then let's go ahead and take a look inside of her mouth. So you might not be able to catch it on camera, but there actually is two tones inside of her mouth, which is super nice. Actually, no, three tones. All right, so let me go ahead and put each tone out. Right there below the teeth of the gums that is a nice pink color, where the rest of the mouth is this more reddish pink. And at the back of the tongue, uh, back of the mouth there, there is another red mixed in there, just to add more life to the mouth. Super cool, I love that. Teeth are nicely painted. Nothing too crazy going on here, but I'm super happy with it. So there is the detail-wise of this. All right, so as expected, the articulation is going to be the hardest part and the longest part, at least for this video. So let's just get straight on to articulation. For this Velociraptor, she has a ton. The jaw opens up the top of here, kind of like the Super Colossal Rex, how it has the articulation in the bottom of the jaw. And at the top, Get my big old fat hand out of the way. So you get a nice wide range of movement there in the mouth. There is an articulation point. I believe it's a ball joint right here at the base of the neck. That lets you look down, up. Not really side to side. That, that more comes from right here at the, at the base of the neck. That's where you get your head tilt. You can look down and look up real nice and far like she's looking up at Alan Grant on the staircase. You guys have not seen what I'm talking about. And then going down to the shoulders, you have a nice hinge right here, and it can twist full 360 degrees. You have, a, you have the same ball joint right here with the hinge at the uh, elbow, giving you even more articulation right there. It twists full 360. And then you get the same one right here at the wrist. So a ton of movement here in the arm. Super happy with this. It is, you can have the, you can have the Raptor shredding on an electric guitar. Isn't that not epic? A raptor shredding on her guitar. Come on. It's clearly what this figure was made for. It's its only purpose in life. Moving down on to the... I wish there was... If, there, if I could add one thing, it would be our articulation right here in the body so you could get it 
spotty to turn, but I'm not going to complain because that would be redundant. Going down here to the thigh, you have full 360 motion down here on the thigh. And then you have a nice hinge here at the knee that you can also rotate around 360 degrees. And you get that right here. I don't know what this would be called on the Raptor. It's not really an elbow and it's not really a knee. Uh, I guess the shin. I don't know. Right here at the base of the shin, you have a nice rotation as well and a hinge. And then the foot is on the same kind of articulation point where it's a ball joint dish hinge going on right there. And the claw is actually articulated and I love the way they did this for the actual like unit right here doesn't move it's just the claw it has a little ball joint inside of the toe that lets it move in and out and the tail as I said is on this little ball joint but the whole tail itself is a bendy wire and this rubber is so nice it feels so nice I just really hope it doesn't rot over time but as for now this looks amazing so rarely do I give a figure a 10 out of 10, but this one I think takes it easily without a, without a doubt. Maybe I'm just starstruck because I finally have a highly detailed opposable Jurassic Park dinosaur in my hand. That could be it, but I doubt it. So I'm really liking how this figure is handling itself with all this articulation on it. So let's go ahead and compare her to other six inch figures. Now, forgive me, I don't have many at all. I sold most of my uh, Black Series collection, but I'll go scrounge around, look for something to compare with you guys, and I'll be right back. All right, so before we get on to the 6-inch, we're going to start with the Mattel line. So here it is, the Utah Raptor with Owen Grady. And then with the regular Velociraptor. And then the Thrash and Throw. Tyrannosaurus. So it's just about as tall as the bottom of the thrush and throw's chin, for those of you wondering. Alright, getting those out of the way. Let's take a look at some actual other six inch figures. So, starting up is a kind of, you guys are not going to know about the six inch line, I guarantee it. Um, I'll give you guys a clue, it's World War II. So if you guys don't already know, if that threw you off, let me go ahead and announce it. Because I know some of you guys, one of you is bound to want or be interested in a World War II six-inch line. Because you collect other six-inch figures. Maybe you want some World War II lines. German soldiers and American soldiers. You never about. Uh, Plan B Toys. They have their own little website. I don't actually know if they're still up anymore. But they do make posable, not super, super posable, but posable uh, World War II figures that are highly detailed. So there is that. So if you want to have like the Germans land on a dinosaur island, there you go. Now, of course, Star Wars Black Series is the only other six inch line I have other than what other lines coming up. You have Darth Vader. <laughs> Raptor with Darth Vader. Let your jokes be made, whatever they may be. And then a Crimson Stormtrooper that I got off of a Amazon deal a long time ago. Sold pretty much all the other figures in the line except this one because it got a little chewed up by my dog, so I couldn't sell it. This one decided it's also going to give me troubles with standing. And this is a true Hasbro versus Mattel. And look at that, the Hasbro won't even stand. It's a Mattel 1, Hasbro 0. And then this one I'm definitely not going to be able to get to stand, but I know some of you guys have been wanting to see this for a long time, and maybe not some of the reviewers haven't done it, but I will. Come on. I, mean, I can't have it stand its own, but we're going to look at it with the Beast of the Mesozoic Jeromeus Sword. Now, this is not the Velociraptor from that line, because I didn't, I didn't get that one. This is the only Beast of the Mesozoic I have. And uh, I believe this is the Dromaeosaur, or I could be wrong. I don't know, it's a million raptors in one. So there it is. The Mattel one is still a bit taller. So, that is pretty much all I have to say about this guy. Um, 
Like I said in the first review, if you guys didn't know, I have my first review up for, for the, today. I have two reviews I had to do today. The Battle Damage Walmart exclusive Spinosaurus is up right now. It is the one before this one, and after that is the Denver toy movie that I made in Denver. Obviously. <laughs> It is up, ready for you guys to watch. I highly recommend you guys watch this one if you guys haven't seen it yet. Beautiful, easily one of the prettiest movies I've ever made. So definitely go check that out and be excited for the Arizona movie made. That's gonna be Mosasaurus centered with some Spinosaurus in there. Mostly underwater movie. You guys are gonna really like that one. As long as the water is warm enough I can swim in, it will be made. So guys, this has been Toy Adventures. Signing out. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to impress you guys further. Have a great day, guys.